Sponsorem programu jest producent tranu norweskiego Molers Gold. Onet rano, wiem, dziś o zdrowiu mówić będziemy, o tym, które na wiosnę powinno nam towarzyszyć, co zrobić, żeby przygotować się dobrze na tę wiosnę, co zrobić, żeby nawet po wiośnie, używając różnych specyfików, móc być przygotowanym na naprawdę zdrowy nasz czas. Naszym gościem jest profesor William S. Harris. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. And nice to have you here in, in uh, Onet rano studio. It's your first time in Poland? It's my first time in Poland. Very impressed. Very impressed. And I know that you are on a special tour uh, through the uh, Europe. Yes, yes. We are Romania, Czech Republic, Greece, and now Poland. And then home tomorrow. And every day it's talking about omega-3? Yes. So, it's yes. important thing. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Why it's important? Oh, well, Special maybe, for our viewers. Sure. Uh, I, it, the easiest way to say it mm -hmm. is omega-3s are somewhat like vitamins. We can't make them mm -hmm. ourselves. We need them for our health. Uh, they help with better brain, mm -hmm. better heart, better joints, better vision, um, eye health, actually. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of different ways that the omega-3s are beneficial. But it's uh, e as easy as I think that we can take the pill, omega-3, and it's enough? I, I prefer <laughs> to recommend people yeah. eat fish, if possible. Oh, yeah. I mean, the kind of fish mm -hmm. that have omega-3 in them, like salmon, herring, yeah. mackerel, sardines. Oh, yeah. Uh, especially in Portugal. Especially in Portugal. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, fish have lots of other yeah. nutrients, mm -hmm. um, but I know a lot of people don't like fish. Or they like fish that has no taste. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, especially in Czech Republic, we have our sea, you know. But. You have your sea, that's true. <laughs> Uh, so yes, taking a, a teaspoon of oil, yeah. taking a capsule, yeah. that's a perfectly good way to do it. And tell me if, it's, uh, if it is possible to, in the simplest way, how it works from the beginning to the end. How it works. <laughs> I know that you have a lot of researchers about that, but... Yeah, it's, so if, if we start with, uh, start at the top, start yeah. with the brain, mm -hmm. and the brain has a lots of omega-3 as part of the actual structure mm -hmm. of the brain. So while the baby is growing in the mother's womb, uh, one of the omega-3, DHA, mm -hmm. uh, is becoming incorporated at, into the brain, taking out of mom's blood into the baby's brain. So th we know that that's important. And women that have higher omega-3 levels mm -hmm. uh, when they're pregnant um, end up having children that have uh, better sleep patterns, mm -hmm. for example. Uh, there's been one study where they actually looked at uh, IQ, mm -hmm. brain development. It seems a little bit better in the babies that came from moms with higher omega-3. Uh, so th even starting before birth, mm -hmm. it's important. After birth, uh, babies normally get their omega-3 from mother's milk. Mm -hmm. And we know that, of course, in this part of the world, in the U.S., omega-3 is low, and so there's very little in milk. So we'd like to get moms who are nursing their babies to use mm -hmm. milk. And that's, that also helps with brain development. The brain is really growing about for two years after mm -hmm. birth. Um, it helps with eye development as well. Uh, there is reduced risk. Interesting studies where they've looked at the omega-3 levels in babies when they're mm -hmm. born and then six years later look at who is has asthma or breathing problems mm -hmm. and they find higher levels of omega-3 when they're young less problems with breathing mm -hmm. uh, breathing or asthma mm -hmm. when they're older so things like that then uh, other later in life mm -hmm. we look at uh, th they've done studies with prisoners for example Uh, and they give omega-3 to this prison, but not that prison. Oh. And then they measure how much violence happens in the prison. Yeah. After omega-3, it was lower up violence? Yeah. 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 I think so it's there's, nice there's anxiety yeah. and depression. There's mm -hmm. uh, people who have... Yeah. Uh, I've been asking you about the depression yeah. in, the, in the future, but, but uh, you told me that uh, till the two years old, the um, children need to, uh, to take uh, omega-3 and after that? 
Oh, it, I think still. Okay. Uh, it, it's, but I say that's the time that the brain mm -hmm. is physically growing mm -hmm. the most. Uh, and since the brain uses omega-3, uh, that's the best time mm -hmm. to, to get it in. But I, th I think it should be throughout life. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we look at, for example, Japan. The, the Japanese oh, yeah. eat a lot Being of sushi. fish. Yeah, sushi. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they have very little heart disease, which is the other mm -hmm. benefit, reduced rate for heart disease. And they just live longer. They live mm -hmm. uh, four years longer than the average American mm -hmm. in Japan, yeah. despite the fact that they smoke more and they have more high blood pressure. Yeah, but they have very stress uh, at work. You and know. a lot of stress. Yeah. But still, they live mm -hmm. longer. Maybe stress is good for you. Yeah. I, because of the fish? Or well, yeah, yeah. This, oh, yes, this map, yeah. yeah. This, uh, right, the, the countries in red. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, the countries in gray, yeah. we don't know anything mm -hmm. about omega-3 levels. Yeah. It's still developing. Mm -hmm. The red countries, uh, very low mm -hmm. omega-3. Then orange is a little better. Yeah. Uh, the green is the best. Mm -hmm. So there's not many. Uh, they're all around the perimeter of the north. And we would like to see more countries yeah. to turn green. I understand because I've been in Alaska, so you know I understand them that uh, it's yeah. <laughs> if you have a, such a good Kali boots, so you, 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 you feel very healthy. Yes, after exactly. That. Yeah. You've been in Alaska. <laughs> very good. Very good. Yeah, yeah but uh, um, you, uh, you have a lot of uh, experience uh, about uh, omega-3s. What is the most important thing from your perspective about that? I, th I think from my perspective, the most important well, I, I think the most important thing people can do mm -hmm. is m know their omega-3 level mm -hmm. in their blood. Because we, we developed a blood mm -hmm. test many years ago mm -hmm. that will tell you what your level is. And you can, <coughs> if you're below the mm -hmm. target, you can eat more fish, take oh, yeah. cod liver oil, take fish oil. And you don't have to go to the uh, doctor. No, you no. don't have to okay. go to a doctor. You can do it at home. Or okay. you can collect the sample mm -hmm. at home okay. and then mail it to the laboratory. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we call the omega-3 mm -hmm. index. So once you know your omega-3 levels, you can change them. Mm -hmm. um, the reason you want to change them is for all these reasons. Reduced risk for heart disease, reduced risk for r really, even as we age, uh, lower risk for developing mm -hmm. dementia or Alzheimer's oh, yeah. disease. Mm -hmm. Uh, and as we mentioned, depression seems yeah. to be less mm -hmm. with higher omega-3. I told you that I will ask you about the depression because we have a huge problem, especially at schools, with young people with depression. Yeah. And uh, how it works that uh, omega-3 helps them or could help them? You know, that's a great question. We don't know. Mm -hmm. how, I mean, we don't know the mechanism. Mm -hmm. um, we know that omega-3s, again, make get turned into some... Um, other compounds that are anti-inflammatory, mm -hmm. which, which is why we think they help with joints uh, and, and aches and pains. Mm -hmm. um, but inflammation, chronic inflammation in the body can affect the brain, the heart, the blood vessels, the joints, mm -hmm. everywhere. So it could have something to do with the anti-inflammatory effect of omega-3, um, but the, the mechanism by which it happens, we don't know yet. Mm -hmm. So it depends if you are younger or older or not? Not really. Um, the, it, it, I mean, there are, for example, there are studies in children with um, hyperactivity, mm -hmm. ADHD. Yeah. ADHD. And those kids, when they're tested for omega-3 blood levels, mm -hmm. are lower mm -hmm. than kids that don't have ADHD. And when they give omega-3 to ADHD kids, not in every study, but in most studies, mm -hmm. Um, the symptoms get better. So it, it, it's not a, a magic bullet oh, that yeah. cures everything, mm -hmm. um, but it's, it's one thing we can do that does reduce risk for some of these conditions. Mm -hmm. And uh, you told that it's very good, or it could be good for our heart. Yes. How? Uh, th again, the, the probable reason mm -hmm. is that the omega-3s make the heart rhythm more mm -hmm. steady. Um, one of the one of the earliest studies looked at the relationship between omega-3 and risk for what's called sudden cardiac death, which is when the heart all of a sudden goes into a mm -hmm. kind of, instead of this, it goes like yeah. this. Yeah. And you, you're dead within an hour. 
Mm -hmm. that, that that's kind of sudden death. And that is a electrical problem in the heart. Mm -hmm. And the omega-3s seem to, to protect or coat the heart in some way that makes the electrical problems not bad. It, it pre prevents those electrical dysfunctions. Um, and so that is one way. It also helps reduce the actual buildup of the, the plaque in the arteries of the mm -hmm. heart. Uh, so we can, we can see that there's less risk for heart attacks. And a reduced risk for a heart attack is, of course, a good thing. Yeah, especially in my job, you know. Especially yeah, in your it's, job. It's not high as stress. <laughs> yeah. So I think that you you have the same. But you, you told us that you are on a special tour all over the Europe uh, talking about omega three. What are uh, or did uh, your uh, listeners uh, asking you about? Well, one thing they often ask is there is a plant mm. version of omega three yeah. from flax seed mm -hmm. oil. Um, And they ask, how does that compare? And, and that really is not a good substitute. Uh, it's a different chemical. It's, it's a cousin mm -hmm. of the omega-3s that are in fish, uh, but it's kind of a very poor second cousin. It doesn't, uh, in order to really do the job it needs to do, it has to be converted inside the body mm -hmm. to the fish oil omega-3s. Yeah. And that's a very tough process. It doesn't have maybe less than 5% it's changed. Mm -hmm. So it's not, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the omega-3s in flax oil. It's just not a substitute for the fish oil omega-3s. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one question that comes up. Questions about safety. Yeah. You know, can you have too much? And the usual answer is not as far as we know. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen any uh, side effects mm -hmm. uh, of, of uh, the only side effect people mention is a kind I have, of I have never heard about side effects uh, uh, of uh, about uh, fish eating oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But well and, and f that's another concern mm -hmm. is I think contaminants yeah. environmental yeah, yeah. contaminants mm -hmm. um, which is really one reason to use the oils mm -hmm. instead of the yeah. fish mm -hmm. um, because the oils are cleaned up mm -hmm. so much that they don't have any contaminants mm -hmm. in them and fish can have them. Uh, things like salmon oh, yeah. are very low in contamination, really. Mm -hmm. uh, swordfish and shark, those are the ones with mercury, and we stay mm -hmm. away from yeah. those. Yeah. Um, so th th uh, I guess those are the, th some of the questions that come up. Um, how much omega-3 mm -hmm. do I need, people will ask. Yeah. And based on our studies, we say probably around between 1,000 and 2,000 milligrams, one and two grams mm -hmm. a day of EPA and DHA would be excellent. Mm -hmm. um, in, a, in the U.S., I know the intake is about one-tenth of mm -hmm. that. Uh, so we need to come up tenfold. I, I don't know. what I assume it's the same here, mm -hmm. low. Yeah. But th that kind of intake but between one and two grams a day gives you an, what we call the omega-3 index, mm -hmm. our blood test, gets you up into the target area o over 8%, which is what we like mm -hmm. to see. We're down around 4% yeah. in the red zone. Yeah, but I'm looking at the map and I'm, I'm wondering why you uh, do not anything about uh, uh, South Africa, for example, or uh, Brazil. Yeah, we, we, mm -hmm. what's the difference? Yeah, yeah well, f first of all, this isn't my data. Somebody else did this, mm -hmm. um, and I'm not sure I yeah. totally agree with it, yeah. but the general idea mm -hmm. is here. Um, I, I so what's missing is mm -hmm. Poland, mm -hmm. yeah, which, which is for example, for example, <laughs> which is too bad. And Czech Republic, uh, and Romania, and Czech, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Just about everything except, well, Czech Republic is mm -hmm. there. So, uh, Slovakia is. Oh not, yeah, 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 Slovakia. Yeah, 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 you're right. But we. I think they're all going to be mm -hmm. in this red orange. So people don't know about uh, omega three, or do, uh, are afraid about omega three, or what is the the reason? Uh, I think people are well. They're, they're not used to eating mm -hmm. yeah. fish with strong flavors, mm -hmm. and the, it's the oily fish that tend to have mm -hmm. the omega three, and they yeah. tend to have strong flavors. Uh, and other things like um, the people that grow aqu aquaculture, mm -hmm. where they grow yep. fish in the sea. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to feed the fish, and historically they fed fish uh, with a pellet that mm -hmm. has uh, fish oil in it, because the, yeah. the, fish, don't, the fish don't make omega-3. They mm -hmm. eat it, yeah. like we do. 
Uh, so if you don't feed it to them, they don't have it. And because fish oil is beginning, the demand for fish oil is going up and up and up, mm -hmm. the cost of fish oil is going up. Mm -hmm. And so it becomes more expensive to feed s baby salmon yeah. with fish oil. So they're switching to a vegetable oil. And that has lower omega-3. So the amount of omega-3 in farmed fish is mm -hmm. going down, which is not helping the problem. Uh, what we need really is some some source of omega-3 mm -hmm. to feed fish that doesn't require killing other fish. We'd like to have some plant, for example, that would grow mm -hmm. and we could harvest omega-3 out of that and feed that to the fish. Mm -hmm. That would help. But it's, it's simply a lack of mostly of education and taste for yeah. fish. Mm -hmm. So it's very nice movement of vegetarian in Poland now. So uh -huh. they are eating much more fishes than uh, meat. So okay. maybe. Yeah, that's good. It's, what's, it's called pescatarian. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so you eat fish. The only flesh you eat is, is, is fish. And that's excellent. Mm -hmm. A vegetarian diet with fish. I, I would re really recommend that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Professor, for the interview. Professor William S. Harris był gościem Onet Rano. Onet Rano wiem. Bardzo dziękuję za spotkanie i do zobaczenia. Sponsorem programu był producent Tranu Norweskiego, Moller's Gold.